Good morning and welcome to this edition of CenterCast, Center High School's news talk show. I'm Ashley. I'm Sammy and we're your hosts. Today on our show, Adriana will be informing us on the free food drive around our neighborhood. But first we're going to tell you what's up at Center High School. Hey seniors, you still want to buy a senior ad? Buy one in room 303 with prices starting at $50 or reserve your page for just $25. Also, yearbooks are available for $75 or for a deposit of $33. If you are a member of a club, Club Photo Day is this Thursday in the theater. Don't miss out on your photo or you won't be in the yearbook. We need responsible members of the class of 2012 to work the snack bar for the girls basketball game on February 12th. Sign up with Miss Summer in room 104. Tomorrow, boys basketball is at Center versus Antelope with Varsity at 7. Tonight, girls basketball is also at Center versus Antelope with Varsity at 7. Wrestling is Thursday at Center starting at 6. Now it's time for today's story. It's a lot of fun. It really is just like coming out and knowing that you help other people and it's part of community service. That is pretty fun. You know, you think, oh, waking up on a Saturday morning is bad, but you kind of get used to it. We aren't able to do anything that we do for the community without volunteers, but we actually, Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services has been around for 33 years. We were founded in the Oak Park community in 1976. Um, our mobile food distribution actually started about two years ago, uh, where we realized that we had an obligation to uh, reevaluate how food banks and how we in particular were serving the community. Um, with the price of food going up, with the economy um, having issues, we decided that it, we would be serving our clients more respectfully and um, doing more good if we actually went out to the communities where there was need as opposed to making them come to us. Um, we allow clients to be in their community, be around people that they're familiar with in a comfortable um, location and receive high quality produce, vegetables, um, dairy, you name it. So, I started in December of 2008. Well, my dad first heard about it from his work, and they like he has to do volunteer hours. So he's like, "You guys want to go?" And he's like, "Yeah." Then we started bringing friends after a while, you know, getting more people to come out. And yeah, once a month we go every second Saturday. Um, when we go to food bank, we help. Like we get food ready and then we pass it out to the people. We get the food donated from a variety of different organizations and businesses. We also um, are fortunate enough to be able to purchase um, some of the food that we use so we can have some control over the quality of the items that we're uh, distributing to the people we serve. We always want to make sure that whatever we're serving to um, those in need, it's food that um, is wholesome and it's in good condition and um, the stuff that we would put on our own family's tables. Um, the difficulties we have are basically that some people speak different languages, so it's kind of hard to, you know, talk to them a bit, but, you know, you get advantages too from that. Like, it's a lot of fun. You get to talk to people, you know, socialize, and, you know, when they always smile because they're so grateful, it's hot and cold. Um, it's, like, really nice, you know. And from 8 to 11, like I said, it goes by really fast, barely notice. Volunteers are always welcome, and there's all kinds of opportunities to volunteer with our organization. Contact Caitlin McKee for information about how you can help out, too. And now here's Megan with our kudos section. Hi, my name is Megan, and this is the kudos section. Each week, we showcase a student or teacher that's done a great job at whatever they do. This week's kudos goes to Mr. Case and Emma. In case you didn't know, Mr. Case and Emma won staff royalty at last week's homecoming rally. Mr. Case used to teach AP literature. However, because he's retiring soon, he now teaches in freshman English. And Emma can be seen every day in her golf cart, driving around campus and helping others. Kudos to you, Mr. Case and Emma. You guys deserve staff royalty. Keep doing a great job. I'm Megan, and that was this week's kudos. Emma, you looked lovely at the rally. And now here's Catalina with the weather. Hey, yo, Center High School. Glad to have you back from homecoming. Hope you didn't get too crazy. 
For your current antelope weather conditions, today and tomorrow's temperatures will be ranging between the 40s and 50s with a 30 to 50% chance of precipitation. Thursday will be mostly cloudy but still a 40% chance of some light showers and 40 to 50 temperatures. That is how the rain drips. Rain, rain, go away, you ruined my hair. <laughs> That's all we have for you today. Tune in next week. Thanks for watching CenterCast, where we are dedicated, informed, and, and up to date. date.